Why Ripple must spend $100 million on the lawsuit? Will the new witness turn the fortunes of XRP around? Have you encountered the new XRP scam? Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. But first, we are giving away 50 XRP coins at the end of the month. All you need to do is to like the video, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comments section. Welcome back XRP Army. Let's grow the XRP Lab community by pressing the like button and subscribing to this channel to stay updated at all times. Ripple problems with the Securities and Exchange Commission are still not over. Even though a third party got involved and Brad Garlinghouse suggested new steps, the lawsuit is still not over. Interestingly, the Ripple chain has taken an unexpected turn that involves a witness. To be clear, this witness is irrelevant to the Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit. Instead, Ripple engineers believe that this feature will be a huge boon to the XRP Ledger's companion chain. The Ripple development team, known as Ripple X, has announced that it will be updating the XRP Ledger as of September 2. As Scott Detteron, who spearheaded the announcement, said, Ripple has been working on the change since 2021. Furthermore, the new plan, which was not fully implemented, attempted to replace the Federator with the witness. For a very long time, the Federator has been in charge of establishing communication between the sidechains and the mainnet. Now, Ripple intends to compete with Ethereum by incorporating smart contracts into XRP with the help of the witness function. If the Ripple XRP Ledger sidechain is fully built, users will be able to conduct cross-chain transactions. Aside from these potential advantages, the witness would also remove the requirement for any rippling codebase. This made it possible for users to do business in far less complicated ways. Although it may be premature to anticipate an XRP response, there have been some noteworthy changes. The cryptocurrency watchdog, Whale Alert, said that there have been some big XRP transactions recently. According to its Twitter feed, three XRP whale transfers occurred in short succession. They amounted to 144.3 million XRP tokens worth $48 million in total. Similarly, sentiment data also revealed an uptick in whale activity around the $1 million mark. However, the rise in XRP volume was not shared by the rest of the market, and the token was down 5.60% to $881.49 million. Expectations in the continuing Ripple case remain high as the much-anticipated commencement of summary judgment briefings in September approaches. Even Jeremy Hogan, an attorney sympathetic to XRP, has expectations, tweeting about what he intends to see in the summary judgment briefings the extent Ripple makes the comparison between XRP and Ethereum. The Ripple case is centered on a 2018 statement by former Securities and Exchange Commission official William Hinman in which he said that Ethereum was not a security. According to onlookers, the speech given by the ex-Securities and Exchange Commission employee four years ago may prove to be the deciding factor in the ongoing litigation. Ripple claims the files will show that it has done nothing illegal and that the Securities and Exchange Commission has unfairly chosen winners and losers in the nascent cryptocurrency industry. The officials from Ripple also believe that the data that the Securities and Exchange Commission wants to keep secret would demonstrate disagreement among the agency's senior officials regarding designating XRP as security, weakening the Securities and Exchange Commission argument. The disagreement may come down to the last months of 2022 when judgments will be taken and motions will be presented. At this moment, Jeremy Hogan thinks the cards will be on the table. In response to a Twitter user's question on when the lawsuit is likely to be settled, Hogan said, the most likely settlement timeframe is from now until the end of November because the cards will be on the table. According to the timeline provided by James Phelan, summary judgment motions are due on September 13, while oppositions are due on October 18 and must be responded by November 15. However, Phelan believes a settlement will be reached next year since Judge Torres' ruling on expert petitions and summary judgment may come as early as March 31, 2023. Furthermore, Ripple would need to spend $100 million on legal action. John Deaton believes that Ethereum is an alphanumeric code and that the Securities and Exchange Commission classification of Ethereum as security is incorrect. He went on to clarify that even if he found Vitalik's remarks demoralizing and dumb, he would not support the government assaulting modern Ethereum, in the same manner, it has previous coins. In this case, Ripple would spend $100 million. Furthermore, the founder of Crypto Law claims that the Securities and Exchange Commission intentionally chose not to limit the allegations against Ripple to specific sales made by Ripple and its executives but instead alleged all XRP, 
including secondary market sales of the token, are unregistered securities, resulting in a loss of over $15 billion. This was in response to a tweet by Ryan Selkies, chief executive of Masari, in which he stated that investors lost over $1 billion to crypto scams last year and another $7 billion owing to the Securities and Exchange Commission denial of a spot exchange traded fund. As further evidence, Selkies referred to comments made by Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, who had said the company would spend $100 million on its legal fight with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Also, beware of the new scam. A number of cryptos are being promoted by scammers that seem to have spread across the sector. Likewise, prominent social media accounts have been compromised by hackers engaging in unethical behavior to promote crypto scams. This could contain both Bitcoin and altcoins in order to accomplish their goals. In many aspects, this current scenario is not unique either. Also, scammers have taken over the official Price Waterhouse Coopers Venezuela Twitter account in an effort to spread a new XRP fraud. The unauthorized advertisement showed Brad Garlinghouse's photograph with the text Big Event Hurry Up, and a link that deceived prospective victims into donating their coins. But the tweet was deleted from the corporate account shortly after it was posted. Con artists often use social media platforms like Twitter to reach out to their victims by pushing bogus freebies or posting phishing websites that may steal user information or even deplete their cryptocurrency hot wallet. Instead, Twitter has taken preventative measures to calm user concerns. Now, there is one important question to be asked here. Did any of the aforementioned factors affect how XRP fared on the charts? Surprisingly, yes, XRP was up 3% as it traded at over 33 cents on the charts. In fact, XRP trading volume went up, which was much needed and helped to stop its downward trend. Also, it wasn't the first time, in July, a hacker gained access to the British Army's social media accounts and posted misleading information about a cryptocurrency hoax. The instance saw the hacker taking control of official Army social media accounts on Twitter and YouTube. The name of the Twitter account was modified and its profile photo and header picture were modified to seem like a set of non-fungible tokens dubbed the Possessed. A similar giveaway fraud promotion was also seen in the cryptocurrency community, namely the Doge community. As a matter of fact, the official Dogecoin account quickly issued a warning about fraud sweeping the network. Back then, Doge also saw a price increase, prompting the question, at what cost? Subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and make sure to comment your thoughts on XRP in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. And before you go, there are two videos waiting for you at the end of this video, make sure to watch those, have a good one. Kindly note that the prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. Do conduct your due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.